which clubs are the League 2 will kick off 2023 with a big fat hairy win. We're going to take a look at that and more and next. That's right, folks. Bam's coming a prediction video today. We're taking a look at the New Year's. Day fixtures. Which club will get off to a fantastic start and which club will get off to a brand new year with a big fat hairy defeat? We'll take a look at all of it in a second, of course. If you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe button, man. All things League 2 related, Blood and Rose related, world football related. We're all here, boys. Under one roof. Of course, a disclaimer right here, right now. I'm recording this way ahead of schedule on the 23rd of December um, because I'm going to be on the road between now and then. So I don't, I'm going to be keeping up to the games, but I won't be able to get the videos out wherever I am because I'm going to be either on the road or in the, in the jungle or I don't know it's going to be all over the place but I will be keeping up to the date with the games going on League 2 because that's what I do but I want to get the video out there for your leisure to get your picks in of course keep up the heat with me uh, in the hot seat but until then guys uh, if you're new subscribe thumbs up hit the little bell but of course let's get into it tell you what I'm talking about of course we're talking about uh, Zeiss uh, which is the League 2 of course these were the games last time around which was match number 24 uh uh, crew and Carlisle and all that kind of sh all the good stuff there of course and my picks on the left on the right of the real deal you're, you're probably laughing at me now with the state of some of these picks or you're probably giving me a big old pat on the back virtually because um, I got them spot on the nose but anyway let me know of course how I did uh, but also get involved with your picks as well again we take a look at the table when it was recorded way back in the 23rd of December it's going to look much different by now because I've played at least two games since then uh, so uh, but anyway that's of course where we were but where are we now of course get involved here Cutty League 2, it is free, get your name and lights and when we come back we're going to be kicking off with a brand new look I think, uh, with a new table for the second half of the season, to keep the Master League uh, going behind the scenes anyway but anyway, these are the games of course coming at you very very soon, uh, we are taking a look at um, Barrow against Rochdale, this actually takes place on the 2nd of January uh, 2023, of course pleasure the four times to 2017, three for, for Rochdale nothing for Barrow, one draw of course biggest win for Rochdale, two near win uh, in fact they scored six goals, Rochdale could better Barrow's two of the course of those four games, we're also about 0.5 Five goals a game for Barrow, 1.5 goals a game for Rochdale. Last time around, though, over at Barrow, it was a 2-1 win for Rochdale back in October 2021. They also played this season in October 2022. It was a 2-1 win for Rochdale over in Spotland, of course. I do not have any odds on this game, so we're going to have to go with my gut right here right now. My gut says a win for Barrow here. 2-0, 2-1 win for them. Rochdale are in trouble, of course, and Barrow are trying to have salvaged their season and on the same. Uh, kicking on forward, we have Bradford City up against Salford City, of course, over at the Valley Parade. Play to the corner in my eyes as the computer takes a shite. Uh, eight times in 2019, two for Bradford, five for Salford, one draw of course, heading into the big win for Bradford, a 1-0 win, the big win, a 3-0 win. Uh, Salford has scored 10 goals compared to Bradford's four of the course of those eight games, 0.5 goals a game average for Bradford, 1.25 goals a game for Salford City. Last time around, though, over at uh, Bradford, it was a 2-1 win for Bradford back in January 2022. Uh, they also played other a couple of times this season, uh, once at Salford in the league. It was a 1-0 win for Bradford, and of course, a 1-0 win for Salford in the Football League Trophy knockout stage. That was back in uh, November 2022. Uh, the odds, right, this one's got no odds, going to go from my gut, and going to back in Bradford City there's not much in this really except for just will and hope to see Sparky do well but 3-1 win for Bradford City but I'm probably wrong anyway kicking on forward it is Colchester United Okay, Swindon and Colchester need some results and fast. Play to the 33 times, 315 wins for Colchester, 11 wins for Swindon, and seven draws, of course. Colchester, though, a biggest win for them over Swindon, 3 0 win, the biggest win in the way, also a 3 0 win. Swindon has scored just 33 goals compared to Colchester's 42 over the course of those 33 games. Works at about a goal a game average for Swindon and 1.27 goals a game for Colchester United. Last time around, though, of course, over at uh, Colchester, it was a 1 1 draw back in January 2022. They also played this season at Swindon. It was, of course, back in October. It was a, two, a 1 0 win for Swindon as well. No odds coming into this one, but I'm going to go with they're one nil with for Swindon on the road because Colchester are woeful and Swindon have got the head screwed on right and think hopefully uh, 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 in the right direction Crew Alexandra up against Tranmere Rovers uh, coming at you over at Gresty Road played 25 times in 1997 and 9 wins for Crew 13 wins for Tranmere 3 draws of course uh, Crew though biggest win for them 3 nil win the biggest win in the way a 3 nil win as well uh, Crew's uh, amount of goals scored over the 25 games 31 compared to uh, Tranmere's 40 works out about 1.24 goals a game for Crew 1.60 goals a game for Tranmere last round though over at Crew in the league it was a 3-2 win for Crew back in, of course, November 2018. That was in League 2. They also played each other this season at Prenton Park. It was a 3-2 win for Tramier. They also played each other at Grassy Road in the Canada Cup, or whatever it is, the football trophy. It was a 1-0 win for Tramier. Uh, no odds on this one, but I'm back in a draw here. Point of pitch. Tramier a bit woeful. Crew, I don't know about them really this season. They're just all over the place. Uh, but I think it cannot be separated, these two sides. Kicking on forward, it will be Doncaster Rovers up against Carlisle. Uh, coming at you also on New Year's Day over the keep mode. Played each other 13 times. 3-5 wins to Doncaster, 7 wins to Carlisle. 
And we got one draw. Biggest win for Doncaster. 3 1 win. The biggest win in the way. A 3 0 win. Doncaster, though, scoring 12 goals compared to Carlisle. 16 over the course of the 13 games. 0.92 goals a game for, for Doncaster. 1.23 goals a game on average for Carlisle heading into this. Last time around, though, over at the Keep Moat in the league. It was a 2 2 draw way back in September 2016. They also finished this season over at Carlisle. It was a 3 0 win for Carlisle way back in October. Of course, got no odds on this one. So we're going to go with my belly. My belly says a, a win for Carlisle here. 2 1 win for them on the road. A big result for them as they keep their dream alive. Kicking off forward is Stevenage up against Gillingham. That's right, coming at you. Uh, a bit of a zinger, really, but top versus bottom, all that sort of stuff. Pleasure seven times, 2011, two versus Stevenage, three for Gillingham, two draws, of course. Stevenage, though, biggest win for them, 3 0 win. The biggest win for Gillingham, a 1 0 win. Uh, Gillingham scored nine goals compared to Gillingham, uh, Stevenage is 11 over the course of those seven games. 1.57 goals a game for Stevenage, 1.29 goals a game for Gillingham. Last time around, though, over at Stevenage uh, in the league. It was a 3-1 win for Stevenage back in February 2014. I was in League One. Meanwhile, they also pitched that at Priestfields back in October. It was a 1-1 draw as well. Got no odds again. Going to go with a 2-0 win for Stevenage. Of course we are, because uh, Gillingham are in trouble. It looks like uh, Neil Harris's boys could be making back-to-back -back relegations uh, right here right now. Kicking off forward, it will be Walsall over at, against Mansfield over at the Bescott. Now, these two sides, of course, locking horns on New Year's Day. Now, play each other nine times. So, 2006, two wins for Walsall, four for Mansfield. And we've got three draws, of course. Mansfield, though, biggest win for them. 4-0 win, the biggest win anyway. the a 2 0 win. Uh, Walsall have scored 12 goals compared to Mansfield's 11 over the course of those nine games. Works out at 1.22 goals a game compared to 1.33 goals a game by Walsall. Last time around, though, over at the best got it was a 3 1 win for Walsall back in September 2021. They also played it back in October as a 2 1 win for Mansfield as well. Just one win in the last six for the away side here. That's when Mansfield beat Walsall at Walsall back in October 2019. The odds, though, for this one got nothing. Uh, gonna go with a 1 0 win for an upset here. <clears throat> Walsall taking the three points. Oh, yes, indeed. Gillingham, uh, sorry, Grimsby up against Stockport County. Come at you over at Grimsby as well on New Year's Day. Played to the 25 times in 1988. Seven wins to Grimsby, 11 wins to Stockport. Seven draws, of course. Biggest win for Grimsby over Stockport. Get this, 7-0 win. The biggest win in the way, a 4-0 win. Uh, in fact, Grimsby scored just 33 goals compared to Stockport's 37 over the course of the 25 games. 1.32 goals a game for Grimsby, 1.48 goals a game for Stockport County. Last time around, though, over at Grimsby, it was just a mellow 2-1 win uh, for Grimsby way back when. They also played to this season, of course, uh, back in, uh, in, in Stockport. It was a 3-1 win for Grimsby. Uh, coming to just one defeat against... Uh, uh, Stockport over the last five. Uh, no odds on this one. Going to go with a 2 1 window for Stockport against the grain. Because uh, Stockport, I think, are contenders for playoffs. I think Grimsby are doing all right and they could they could feature themselves if they get their act together. Kicking off forward is Hartlepool up against Harrogate in the Battle of the H's. Uh, coming out over at uh, Hartlepool. But you 12 times 11, 5 was a hard ball, 6 was a hard ball, 1 draw, of course. Biggest win for hard ball, 3 0 win. The biggest win of the way, a 4 1 win. Both sides have scored 21 goals against each other, which works out about 1.75 goals a game on average. Last time around, though, over at Hartlepool was a two, uh, in the league. 3 2 win it was for Hartlepool back in October uh, last season in League Two. They've also played each other a couple of times already. Actually, bloody hell, how many times already this season? This will be this will be the fourth time they've played each other this season. They played each other uh, in Hartlepool in the EFL Trophy Northern. Uh, it was a 2 0 win. It was for Hartlepool. They also played each other over at Hartlepool in the FA Cup back in the 26th of November. It was a 3 1 win for Hartlepool as well. They also played each other at Harrogate this season back in October. It was a 2 1 win as well. Uh, so Hartlepool winning two uh, out of the three so far. Can they make a hat trick? Well, that's, of course, what's on the offering today. And I'm going to go with that hat-trick with a 1-0 win for them over at Hartlepool. Can they play them every week? That's what they'll be saying over at Hartlepool. Kicking off forward, though, we move forward to Newport County up against Crawley over in Wales. Uh, now, this game uh, will take place on the 2nd of Jan of 2023. Play to the according to my eyes as the computer loads and thinks about it. What, the, what, they th what are they thinking about right here, right now? Uh, Newport County up against... Um, who is it? Crawley. They're thinking, still thinking, still thinking. Come on then, you can do it. I've got, I, I believe in you. I believe, there you are. 18 times in 2010, six wins for Newport County, eight for Crawley, four draws, of course. Biggest win for Newport County, two nil win. The biggest win in the other way, a 4 1 win. In fact, Crawley scored 27 goals compared to Newport County's 20 over the course of those 18 games. 1.11 goals a game average for Newport County, 1.5 goals a game on average for Crawley Town. Last time around, though, over at Wales, it was a 2 1 win for Crawley back in April 2022. They also played this season in Crawley back in October as a 2 1 win for Crawley. Wow, wow, we went. In fact, Crawley have just lost once against Newport County over the last six. They like playing them, don't they? But I'm going to go with a win, unfortunately, for Newport County. 2-1 for them. Crawley, I still think, are in that relegation fight. They might be on, on, on the mend, but I just think... Um uh, right now they are are, are not uh, not a not a unit just yet. But give give them time. Give them time. Here forward is Northampton down against Lloyd Norris. Whatever zinger zinger we have here. First against second or third or whatever it is at the time of recording. I don't know. Uh, Pitch of that twenty three times seven three nine wins to Northampton six from Lloyd Norris eight draws of course of course the uh, uh, Northampton uh, big.
Leeds win, 4 0 win. The biggest win for Orient was a 3 0 win. In fact, Orient scores just 24 goals compared to Northampton's 31 over the course of 23 games. Works on about 1.04 goals a game on average for Orient, 1.35 goals a game for Northampton Town. Uh, last time around, they're over at Northampton. It was a, a 1 0 win. Uh, that was back in November uh, 2021. Uh, that's, they also British sure this season at Brisbane Rovers a nil nil draw, uh, of course, uh, in October. Uh, no odds on this one. Going to go with my gut. My gut says a 3 2 win for Northampton Town. Upset the apple cart and denting the leaders' hopes uh, at the top of the table. And then wrap it up, wrap it up. It's Sutton United up against uh, Wimbledon. A bit of a, a London affair ish on this one. Where is it? There it is. Pleasure of the five times with 17. Three for Sutton, one for Wimbledon, one draw, of course. Biggest win for Sutton was a 3 1 win. The biggest win of the way, a 1 0 win. In fact, Women have just scored two goals compared to Sutton's five over the course of those five games. Works out about 0.4 goals a game for Wimbledon, one, point, uh, one goal a game on average for Sutton United. Last time around, they're over at uh, Sutton. It was a while uh, in the league. I don't even know if they've played each other in the league. They have not. This will be the first time I've played each other in the league, according to my eyes. However, that's a picture that at Sutton was back in November 2021 in the EFL Trophy Southern. It was a 1 0 win for Sutton. However, they also played each other this season at Plough Lane. It was a 1 0 win for Wimbledon, of course. No odds on here. Going to go with my gut. My gut says a win for Sutton. The first time they played each other at the league in Sutton. It was a 1 0 win in the end. That's my take on it. My hot take on it, of course, right here, right now. Get involved with your own hot take. Cut the Fortress League 2. Hopefully, I'll see you back around then. But until then, guys and girls, be safe out there. Until then, subscribe, thumbs up, and of course, hit the little bell. Uh, I'm here. Until then, I'll be back. Until then, ba -da -dee, da -da -doo, let's go. I'm out.